Not always easy putting your child to bed, which can lead to parents giving their children medicine to help them sleep. But the Georgia Child Fatality Review Panel says you shouldn't. That's right. 41 NBC's Emanuela Rendini joins us now with more on how you can avoid the dangers of using certain medicines to put your child to bed. Manny. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation and the Georgia Child Fatality Review Panel wants parents to stop giving their child, especially two and under, medicine to sleep. I spoke with a doctor at Navison Health that says there are many other ways to help your child sleep at night. One should not be giving their child Benadryl to go to sleep. There is a chance that you can overdose a child. Janelle Fernandez is a doctor at Navison Health and she says there are better ways to get your child to sleep. Make a good environment for the child, whether it be dim the lights, play some music, rock them to sleep, even sometimes drive them around in the car if that's, you know, what makes them drowsy. If your child is older than two, cutting TV time can help them fall asleep at bedtime. They should not be watching TV more than two hours before they go to sleep. We also want to avoid caffeine in children because that will cause them to not, you know, sleep well. Fernandez says that using medicine like Benadryl can actually keep your child awake. Benadryl sometimes can have the opposite effect, which is cause the child to become hyperactive. And really the only uses for Benadryl should be to treat allergy or hay fever and sometimes even motion sickness. Other than that, there is no other indication for Benadryl. If your child still has problems sleeping when they become a teenager, you can then ask a doctor what they recommend to help them sleep. If they are having extra hard time going to sleep or they're on stimulants or, you know, any of those type of things, then we do sometimes say, you know, try, go ahead and try melatonin. It's a medication that gives teens more hormones to help them sleep. But Fernandez says the best way to get your child to sleep is having a good sleeping environment. Don't want, you know, any ruckus happening throughout the house, whether it be parties or loud music. We want everything to be calm and quiet for the child so that they can go to sleep. The GBI said that parents giving their child too much medicine is sometimes the reason why children die. The Georgia Poison Control Center has received more than 900 reports since 20, 2013 of parents giving their children medicine to sleep. All right, thank you so much, Manny. The GBI says national polling data has shown that one in five moms say they've given their child drugs to help get through a long car ride or a plane trip.